Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our final Community Tourism Spotlight Series today on Outdoor Adventures. Uh, my name is Colin Heffron. I'm the Economic Development Officer for uh, the town of Conception Bay South, uh, joined by five awesome, four other awesome panelists today. Uh, we're going to talk to you about some outdoor adventures that are ongoing here in Conception Bay South. Uh, Conception Bay South is, is a beautiful, beautiful place in terms of landscapes and nature. Uh, and as a result, we've had a number of awesome tourism experiences and uh, locations and locales that have popped up as a result of that. Uh, so we're happy to share that information with you today. Uh, first of all, I want to speak to, uh, I guess, about our goal here in Conception Bay South uh, with regards to tourism development. Our goal is to be the number one day trip destination in the Northeast Avalon. Uh, as a result, we've been working with operators, working with different groups here in the town uh, in order to pull together top-notch tourism experiences, uh, pull together packages, and promote what we have to offer here in Conception Bay South. Uh, just in case you missed our, our last two sessions, so we did two sessions so far in this uh, little series of, of information sharing that we've done here with regards to the tourism in our community. Uh, Duke Pant, we did a session on navigating experiences and visitors. Uh, we provided in that session some extensive trail information. Uh, we spoke about some events that are going on this year, uh, where to find that information, particularly the Town of the Manuals River calendars on their website. Uh, we also spoke about parks, playgrounds, boat launches here at the town. Uh, Brandon shared some information about heritage experiences here in the town. And lastly, we talked about resources that we have here at the town, maps, itineraries, uh, snapshot for business and frontline staff, our town website, and of course, our social media. June 17th, we did a session on indoor attractions. We had uh, four panelists join us as well. Uh, we had Madison Acker from Manuals River talk about their indoor attractions, their exhibits, uh, some of the other items that are on the go at the center this year. Uh, we had uh, a virtual tour from the Hangout. Uh, Donald was so nice and kind to let us in and have a look around. Uh, we had a promotional video from Riverdale Fun Center uh, up in Kellogg's. Uh, Nine Penny Brewing also provided a, a live virtual tour. And we also shared some information on the different food and beverage uh, options that we have here in Conception Bay South. Uh, the recordings of these sessions are available on the town's YouTube channel. We actually please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So today's contrib contributions are coming from uh, one of our major tourism operators here in the town, Ocean Quest Adventures and Rick Stanley. Uh, following Rick, we'll hear from Darcy Matthews. Uh, Darcy is a member of the Community Garden Committee here in Conception Bay South. And she's going to speak about their community garden setups and why they're nice little outdoor spaces to visit and you know great places to go to. Uh, third up on the list, we'll have Brandon Cooney. He's our uh, sustainability coordinator here at the town. Brandon's gonna talk to you about the Pops of Homes and Heritage Gardens walk. Uh, Manuel's River, Eleanor Power, uh, is going to provide some information about the outdoor activities that are on the go at Manuel's River. And lastly, we'll finish up with some key outdoor locations and activities from yours truly here at the town of CBS. Just some housekeeping notes for those of us who are attending live today. Any questions you have for the panelists can be entered into the chat function. Uh, we'll be answering questions once all contributors have completed their section of the, of the webinar. And of course, what we'll be doing is we're recording this session so that we can post it on our YouTube channel, and this will be posted in the days to follow. So without further ado, allow me to change over to a different presentation so I can get something going for Rick here. And Rick is going to be our first contributor today. So with that, I'll send it over to Rick. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Ocean Quest. And uh, we've been, uh, we got some adventure packages here. We're offering, uh, and we've been offering these now for, for about 15 or 16 years. Uh, we started as a dive company, but uh, we're just going to run through the presentation and uh, show you a lot about Ocean Quest. Next slide. Okay, so we're offering adventure experiences for 23 years. Uh, we originated as a world-class scuba holiday resort, but then we broadened our uh, adventures because of what we have around us and we we've, we've, we've took notice. And not only that, but our equipment and infrastructure, personnel and all that, could operate uh, these adventures as well as uh, the, the diving adventure. So we like to say diving was our passion, but the rest we do for fun. 
uh, whether it be from the deck of our 45 passenger boat or the Zodiac or the kayaks, we do snorkeling, paddle boarding, mountain biking, and a whole lot of other stuff. But you also learn about the local culture, the history, the heritage, the nature, and of course, all in a, a safe manner. Uh, we have a real respect for our ocean environment and, and everything around us and every day and everything we say is kind of like, uh, you know, we, we follow the three R's. And we uh, also uh, offer a modern lodge here with uh, six bedrooms, 12 beds, and, uh, and also uh, ensuite bathrooms and lots of uh, relaxing around the site. We got a, like a a uh, fire pit there and we got uh, the spa and we're really close to the marina here in uh, in in Long Pond, which is the Sunset Key, just down over the hill from our resort. And we, our views here today is beautiful. There's sailboats out there. And of course, uh, that's that's all the time. We, we look out over the three islands and uh, Belle Island being the biggest, Kelly's Island and Little Belle Island. Next slide. So of course, when we're when we're uh, marketing to the world, and this is just an example of uh, you know some of our maps, and of course we the Conception Bay Marine Park that we designated back years ago through an environmental organization which I was a co-founder of with my father, uh, and it was Ocean Net, and uh, you can see there on the, the far right uh, uh, chart that we had illustrated, and of course all the things you can see and do and. Uh, the pirates of the bay of World War II came to our shores uh, around Belle Island. And of course we have icebergs and whales and all kinds of nice birds besides that uh, out there. And we leave from the, uh, the marina just down over the hill here. And uh, we're basically, we pick people up, whether it be at a bed and breakfast locally or whether it be uh, at the airport. And we bring them near to Conception Bay South and we also have a, a location in Petty Harbor. We have deals that we offer up for, you can book one or you can book up to 12 with our Zodiacs or even 45 for our charter boat. And we can include the accommodations, the meals and the choice of adventures in their package and we can customize it. We have uh, barbecues on our boat. We, we can double the boat for adventures, whether we take the kayaks on board or where we, uh, we have a, uh, a, a, a meal and uh, you can enjoy a cocktail on the water with your meal. The, uh, we offer trips from $99 to $249 for the day trippers, which, uh, you know, local bed and breakfasts, hoteliers and all that, people staying in other places, they they, uh, they sell this out and they, we have an online booking system so they can book right there. And we're designing right now a, uh, a partner program that with an app and a QR code that the, the guests at the hotel, the concierge, the, the, the staff at the, at the restaurants, you know, the, the, the waitresses and waiters could, uh, while they're chatting it up to their, uh, to their patrons, they could uh, be selling our adventures and picking up a commission. We, uh, we sell these three nights and three day adventures. Uh, you know, that's more of a outside of Newfoundland kind of thing. And we also offer the seven, seven nights and five days of adventures. And, and these are uh, packages that people come and stay and play with us and they go away happy, you know, and uh, we, we, we do multi-day, multi-adventures, including uh, all what I said earlier, but, uh, some people just come for diving only, but now we have the multi-day, multi-adventure packages. Of course, it includes the transfers from the airport or or your bed and or the bed and breakfasts uh, in the region within you know half an hour or so of our adventure, and uh, it includes all that. And we also in our accommodations, you can see that that we offer food if they want it. We offer of the comfort of our, uh, of our, of our accommodations, of our lodge. It's a, it's a customized adventure lodge and it's really close to uh, the water there in, uh, in Long Pond. You can pick, you know, the, for the shorter stays, you got, you know, lots to select from, uh, you know, swim with marine life in a whale's world, uh, diver selected scallops. We can have divers go down and dive for the, for the scallops and we can have them right on board or you can have them back at the lodge. 
kayaking and paddle boarding around Conception Bay and also around the sea caves of Bella Island. There's waterfalls and high cliffs. New for this year, we uh, started doing some mountain biking and we're, we're still trying to roll that out. Uh, I think once the tourists start coming, it'll be more successful, but it gives us an opportunity to work out the methodology to all that. So if anybody wants to come and try out their mountain bikes and, uh, and have, a, have a trip on the, on the trails of Conception Bay South, uh, there's lots of places where you got the sea vistas and the coastal. You can go out to the points and have a little snack. And it's, uh, it's you know, and we're still working out all the details on that. So we're looking for, uh, we're looking for volunteers. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, when the icebergs are here, we all, we got the uh, package called Drink an Iceberg, you know, and so uh, we pick up some of the old iceberg and uh, bring it uh, bring it back and you can have it on the boat or you can have it back at the lodge, kayaking and snorkeling. And you can even take it away with you if you like and uh, put it in, we'll, we'll uh, try to preserve it as long as we can. But by the time you get home, it'll probably be water, but it's good to drink. Uh, we got two brand new boats uh, that was only launched last year and uh, they have twin engines 115 they're very comfortable they could take 12 passengers each and they're 28 feet long they're all transport canada certified and uh, for your comfort and we can go into uh, you know and around the nooks and crannies uh, you know we get out whale watching and icebergs and all that good stuff and even if there's, uh, you know, you could book two of the boats and you can have some banter back and forth and taking pictures of each other. And uh, so some of that uh, is all uh, new for 2020, but uh, we've been uh, operating the Zodiacs now for 23 years. We've always had one. And we're, uh, this, these two Zodiacs are called Isabel and Annabelle after two pinnacle rocks that are over off Bell Island that, uh, that stick up and we call them Bell Island's twin stepsisters. They're identical, so I don't know which one is Isabel or which one is Annabelle. <laughs> so, of course, uh, snorkeling uh, around the marine life and the ocean safari, you can see the shipwrecks, you know, whaling days gone by. You can take part in the island expeditions, exploring the Bell Island, Kelly's Island. We can land you right on the island if you want to go hiking around any of those islands. We got the spa right next door if you want to. You know, it might be a windy old day or rainy old day or whatever. The people don't come to Newfoundland for the weather all the time. So it's always good to have some indoor adventure, like one of the past uh, presentations that were done here by the town of CBS. So you got uh, the spa, so you can uh, select the day at the spa. Mountain biking on the CBS trails, like I said earlier, and you can take the scenic tour even with us. It was too miserable to do anything else. We do have a bus. And we'll uh, we'll go out around. We can go uh, to the breweries. We can go to the historic sites, and of course, uh, it'll be a real culture uh, adventure for you, uh, since we're so close to the city of legends and the oldest city in North America. And we do the cod fishing trips now again this year. It's open up in July first, so uh, we could uh, start taking out uh, cod fishing, and we. Uh, we even, uh, you know, clean the cod and we can cook the cod for you. So it's all part of the adventure. We have uh, our kayaking and, and, uh, and uh, paddle boarding. Uh, you could, uh, the, uh, you know, we take the boats, uh, we go put them on the racks of the kayaks and we bring you to places that it would be too far for you to paddle, but we bring you to the best of the best, the sea caves, the waterfalls, the icebergs and whales. You can, you can uh, be there in, in a jiffy kind of thing. And then the, the, uh, the Zodiac stands off and lets you go around with your guide. And of course you can, uh, you know, you can just listen to nature and uh, you don't have to listen to the motors of the, uh, of the, the Zodiac, but the Zodiac is close enough that if you do get in trouble or uh, if you get tired or whatever the case may be, the, uh, the guides will call you in and uh, call us in and we'll pick you up out of the water and we put the kayaks back on the racks and, and we're all, uh, so basically you're getting more than just a kayak. You're getting a Zodiac ride. You're getting uh, to learn all about Conception Bay, the pirates, the whales, the icebergs, the, uh, you know, the, the, the World War II came to the shore. So, we like to say we have uh, whales and icebergs and all kinds of nice birds. 
uh, but we have special places, wide open spaces. And we like to say, we're gonna leave you with a smile on your faces. And this is our uh, six year old uh, charter boat. It's not like your O'Briens or Gatherall folks. They got, uh, they got the, the tour boats out there and they could take large capacities. But we take uh, up to 45 and, and it's, uh, it's also can be customized for just a few people. And uh, we have the barbecues on board, but it's, it's not a tour boat, it's a charter boat. And so we customize the charter for you and your group only. There's no mixed company, unless you're coming out on a diving adventure. Uh, usually the people will come in, uh, in groups from away, but uh, this boat is very unique. It has a galley, it has uh, barbecues, it has swim platforms, it has, it, we can carry out some of the adventure equipment, whether it be snorkeling or, uh, or the kayaks or paddle boards, and we can go in a cove and we can have a whole lot of fun. And, uh, and of course there's whales and icebergs uh, from this boat as well. So uh, there you have it. Uh, there's a little uh, finale there and we can show you a promo video that we had done. And uh, it's mostly shot in around Conception Bay. There's some stuff from Petty Harbor there, but uh, it was written by Kelly Loader and it was put together by Cecil Johnson, which he's a local, uh, owns Tuckamore uh, Productions. And uh, if you're looking for any promotional uh, video or, or a vignette or even uh, a jingle to put together for your company. Those, those two together are fantastic. So enjoy the video and thank you very much for coming to Ocean Quest. I wanna dive into the ocean, break the waves with my emotion for adventure. I want to find a sunken shipwreck in a secret little corner of the world. And yeah, I know that I'm a dreamer, but if I never get to see her, I'll be missing out. So I'm just thirsting for the quest out there with the very best out on the ocean. Take the whole day, make the most of our time here I wanna see her face to face Oh, that animal of grace, close encounter And if I get the chance, oh, I'd love to see her dance out on the ocean Excellent. Thank you so much, Rick. We really, really appreciate uh, the contribution from Ocean Quest today. They're one of our biggest outdoor the most here in the town. Uh, for, for Thank you so much. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, You're welcome. It was all it was pleasure. It was all mine. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. So next up on our contributors is Darcy Matthews. So Darcy, I'll ask you to share your screen and Hi everybody. Well, thanks, uh, Colin. As I said, uh, he said I'm Darcy Matthews, and I just recently came on board as the social media manager for the uh, CBS Community Garden, and uh, just wanted to provide you guys with a little bit of information about our garden, which is still fairly new, but it is growing strong. All about the garden. So, from June to October, the CBS Community Garden offers visitors and residents alike the opportunity to get in touch with where our food comes from. This resident-led initiative has brought folks of all backgrounds together to establish gardens in two locations within the communities. 
We've got a garden up at the Gateway, which is our main hub and is located in Kellegrews, which overlooks Conception Bay and the Ned Nugent Park. It's connected by a series of accessible walking trails that are also bike friendly. This garden features 36, 24 of which are leased beds, uh, while the rest are implanted, maintained, and they're harvested communally. An accessible outdoor classroom or stage, a small fruit tree orchard that we just planted in this past month, heritage fence, some picnic tables, a fire pit, flower beds, and berry bushes are some of the things available. It's a lovely spot just to take the kids or the family and go for a stroll and explore around. Here are some of the photos of the uh, activities and people that have volunteered and done some work up at the Gateway Garden. We have a plant day every, every year in uh, May and June, and then uh, all throughout the summer, we do some maintenance and uh, people that have the least beds then go and uh, maintain them themselves. We just had a winter, uh, sorry, a summer solstice event last night where we had some uh, flower crowns and some Celtic crosses and a lovely sing-along by Steve. This is our Manuals River Garden, uh, which is located on the grounds of the Manuals River Center uh, along the accessible trailway, which is pedestrian and bike friendly, only minutes from the downtown commercial region of Conception Bay South. This lo location features a community greenhouse, a small communal garden with both stone and wooden raised beds, Nordic kiwi trees, which are growing beside the pergola, and there's berry bushes that are native to the region. It's also a great location to, uh, to come out and either plant a bed or just explore what's growing. And of course, uh, Manuals River, which Eleanor will speak to later, is a, a wonderful place to, uh, to visit or hang out or take a group through. I've myself spent many days, many hours there with the uh, scouts and other activities. We do some community activities and we've become well known for two yearly free community festivals, which happen at our main garden hub in Caligrews. Our harvest festival happens in the early weeks of October and which acknowledges all that the garden has produced and the volunteers involved. Everybody goes up and uh, digs up what they've planted and we have a laugh at what hasn't grown and we enjoy what has grown and we all learn from each other. And on November 1st, we do a pumpkin stroll and this is the day after Halloween. So everybody has their jack-o'-lanterns which we highlight and they uh, put along the pathways and light with uh, tea lights and uh, then everybody can stroll through. It's open to the public that evening and it's very lovely. So then with the help of some of the community groups, we compost all the pumpkins and, and uh, they have some fairy lights and other activities for the kids. It's really a wonderful event and it's a perfect way to close out our season. With the addition of our new accessible outdoor classroom or stage, we have the ability to host private functions such as weddings, corporate events and other celebrations. We're truly excited to see people enjoy and use the garden. I, for one, will be enjoying it as I'm the first wedding up there this summer. <laughs> as our garden community grows, we look forward to adding more events that families can take part in. We hope you take the time to visit the gardens that have become so cherished to our community. All are welcome and Thank you, Darcy. That's a, a great look at our community garden. Um, one of the items we're looking at here at the town is how we can integrate that as a as a tourism experience and uh, make it an outdoor outdoor place where people can visit similar to a botanical garden you'd find in any other uh, communities. Awesome to see uh, lots of activity up there and really, really like it. Brandon Cooney is our next contributor. He's going to share some information on the uh, Topsail Heritage Homes and Garden Walk. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Colin. Um, so as Colin said, my name is Brandon Cooney. I'm the sustainability coordinator here at the town of Conception Bay South. And my job entails work on sustainability and climate change. Oh. Let's see. There we go. So the Thompson Heritage Homes and Gardens Walk is a self-guided 1.3 kilometer walking tour. Uh, it's through one of the oldest historic districts in Conception Bay South, and there are many centuries old historic homes here. Now, the homes and gardens are all on privately owned land and not open to the general public, <clears throat> with the exception of this first stop here at the St. John's the Evangelist Church. So behind the church from where you're looking now at this picture, there is a heritage board, and that's where the first uh, wayfinding sign is there. So when you start your walk, you can head in there 
check out the heritage board, read some stories about the heritage district and the homes that you'll see along the way. Uh, but then other than that, the other homes and gardens are all privately owned. So <clears throat> as you're walking around, there's a great view from the road. And you've probably driven by, if you're like me and you grew up here, you've probably driven by a ton of these places throughout your life in Conception Bay. And you probably looked at them and thought, oh, that looks like an interesting little spot. But you've never dreamed of the history that's sitting there in front of you. And one perfect example of that is the Hermitage. So the Hermitage is this little stone structure right here. Um, and as you walk by it again, it's kind of like that's a that's an interesting spot that's got some character, but you probably would never guess that it's from the late 1700s. It's one of the oldest buildings in Conception Bay South and probably all of Newfoundland. And it's also got those character defining slate purple shingles on the roof. So this little paragraph here to the left that I just described to you was taken from the Heritage Foundation's website. And the Heritage Foundation does statements of significance through for uh, municipal heritage structures and provincial heritage structures across Newfoundland. So you can find information on heritage structures on their site, but also on the Conception Bay South heritage page, where we list all of the heritage structures. And most of those will link you to their statements of significance on the heritage page. So the walk is packed with surprising and fascinating stories about the heritage structures here in Conception Bay South. And it's pretty short and sweet. So it's about 1.3 kilometers, as I mentioned, and you can see the map here on the right. At that uh, red star, that's where that church is. So there's ample parking in the area around the church. And then you'd go in a counterclockwise direction um, and the routes outlined on the map there. So that's the way the numbers go anyway. You could go the other way, but counterclockwise will have you following the map and the brochure. It should take you about 30 minutes, give or take, if you're taking your time and enjoying the scenery and reading the stories and the brochure and stuff. And there's 11 stops. <clears throat> So the map, as I said, is taken from the brochure, which is located here. You can see the top and bottom of it on the screen. Um, and the brochure can be found online at conceptionbaysouth.ca on the heritage page. And the URL to the heritage page is across the bottom of the screen there. And printed brochures can usually be found at Manuals River and the town hall. So you can download it yourself, print it off yourself, or you can head to Manuals River and the town hall to pick that up. And as you go around the walk, you'll find wayfinding signage that was installed in 2020. An example of that is there on the right. And soon we'll have a virtual tour of the Heritage Walk in an effort to make it more accessible and uh, attainable online. So anybody with mobility challenges or maybe someone moved away and they're looking for a nostalgic walk around their hometown, they can head on to the uh, Heritage page at conceptionbasehealth.ca and check out that virtual Heritage Tour once that's done. So for those of us that are fortunate to live in CBS, I encourage you to get out there and experience it for yourself. Uh, tell a friend and spread the word about Conception Bay South Heritage and the exciting outdoor experiences that you've heard about. Thanks, Brandon. That's an excellent uh, tour, an excellent uh, explainer, I guess, on our uh, Homes and Heritage Gardens block. Uh, absolutely a wonderful piece of, of history here in Conception Bay South. Uh, certainly adds a lot to our tourism sector here for sure. Uh, patiently waiting in the wings has been Eleanor Power with Manuals River. Thank you so much, Eleanor, for uh, joining us today. So Eleanor's going to explain what's on the go at uh, Manuals River in terms of some outdoor experiences. So without uh, any further delay, it's all yours, Eleanor. Okay, thank you very much, Colin. And I'm glad to be joining everybody. Um, welcome to everyone uh, to Manuals River. I'm going to show a little um, presentation now in a moment, see if I can get my screen sharing to cooperate. There we go. So we have um, quite a lot of outdoor things happening. I've gone backwards, starting at the end. There we go. Quite a lot of outdoor things happening at Manuals River, uh, especially in the summertime. It's a great time to explore the river and the trails uh, all around. The area and as Darcy mentioned we do have the community garden and we've been working with uh, Brandon as well to get to planting uh, a rain garden which should be started next week so lots of, of things new things happening and things to check out there's a couple of pictures here um, in the beginning of the presentation and you can see that uh, it's quite picturesque so it's one of the oldest um, river valleys in all of North America that we're exploring. And I would say 
one of the most picturesque as well. Beautiful sightseeing and options for photography, bird watching, that kind of stuff. Uh, we have a, a center, an interpretation center uh, situated about middle of the road there in in regards to the length of the river. And we have trails that are upstream from the river heading towards the canyon. We call them the canyon trails. And we have trails that are downstream heading away from uh, the center towards the ocean. We call those the ocean trails. So our river is flowing north. So we would have um, ocean trail east and ocean trail west. Um, and our canyon trails will link up with the trailway or the um, old rail bed that uh, used to run throughout the province. So you can see here that a couple of these pictures are of the downstream or the ocean side of trails. And we have our brand new extension that just opened in fall of 2020, taking Ocean Trail East all the way down to the beach uh, there on your left. And we also have a view from way up top um, at the lookout looking down over the downstream portion of the river valley there on the right and quite nice sunny days looks like for for both of those pictures but even on a cloudy or a rainy day it's still a lovely spot to walk and we find that when there are less people out that's when we'll see more wildlife on the trail so it's a great chance to get out and and uh, see maybe some ducks usually they like the rain so there's more than five kilometers of trails that are available for walking, jogging, or cycling. Um, we don't allow any motorized vehicles on the trails, but we would be happy to see some uh, mountain bikers like Rick had from Ocean Quest. If you want to rent your mountain bike, you can come and ride it on our trails and along the trailway, as well as the other trails in CBS. And of course, lots of people out walking their pets. So we love to see dogs. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the, the job is getting to be out on the trails and see all the pets. Uh, we just ask that they are pleased uh, to be on the leash and that you stoop and scoop, um, pick up after them, just to be respectful to other trail users. And we have um, trails, as we mentioned, upstream and downstream. So upstream, you're gonna be hitting mostly uh, the igneous rocks. So the volcanic part of the river and downstream, you'll be getting into sedimentary rocks. So those are, where most of our fossils are located. We have fossils of over 500 million year old trilobites that would have been swimming in the ocean, um, you know, over 500 million years ago, those ancient seas. So those are critters that are marine arthropods um, and they're quite fantastic to see. We have a great collection in the center, but we also have the, the fossil sites outside on both sides of the river that you can visit. And it will, you know, hear that most of our trails now our gravel surfaces and they're fairly accessible. Um, so we started in 1989 with the Manuals River Natural Heritage Society forming just a local group of volunteers and they built a series of trails along the river that were quite rugged and lots of rocks and roots and stumps, which was really great for adventurers, but um, meant that there were people who wouldn't be able to use all of our trails and we really wanted to include everybody. So we have been over the last couple of years fundraising to be able to um, upgrade the trails that we do have to more accessible trails and to extend the trail system as well. So we're a registered charity and a not-for-profit organization. So pretty much every event we do is a fundraiser um, working on you know, improving those trails and maintaining them so that they will be free and accessible to everyone, you know, residents of CBS and tourists and beyond. So you can see in the picture here is uh, my colleague, Madison Acker, who's our education manager. And she's just testing out our freedom uh, chair or grit chair, which is a great uh, option. It's a trail wheelchair and it's there for anybody who wants to borrow it, it's free. And it's available anytime that the center is open. So that's Wednesday to Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we're open late Thursday evenings till 8 p.m. as well. So all you need to do is just call ahead to book to make sure it's not already booked out. And it's a great way to be able to get to get to places that you might not otherwise get. We've had some students be able to use it uh, for our school programs, which meant that they could come along with us and they wouldn't be left behind. And, you know, most of us, if we're lucky, we have our mobility and it's something we don't always think about, but really could happen to anyone at any time that you need 
um, the use of something like this. My partner broke his foot a couple of years ago and we were able to use the grit chair just to get out and about. So it's there for everybody and it's a, a wonderful resource. If anyone is looking um, to borrow it, just let us know at the center and you can drop by anytime we're open. We will be offering uh, guided tours seasonally now from uh, the center to head upstream for the human history or downstream for the geological, paleontological history. And we also offer um, specific custom tours for things like uh, edible plants and the biology of the river. So really, if you have an area of interest, you wanna just let us know what it is. We can um, take you down for a dig at our fossil site or we can show you around some of the old farms that used to be along the river. There's lots of different options and all kinds of um, great info coming from our interpreters who are pretty knowledgeable and, and uh, pretty well used to all the different ins and outs of the trails. Um, as well, we should know here that the fossil site that we have is a provincially protected uh, site. It's designated as a significant paleontological site which means that it is illegal to remove any rocks or fossils from Manuel's River. Um, and it's also illegal to pick into the rock wall. And you'll see what I mean if you ever come here and check out the shale cliffs where the rocks are found by our fossil site. Um, however, we are allowed to pick through the loose shale that's fallen and pick the rocks up to pull them apart. If you open them in just the right place, you may find they open like the pages of a book to reveal two halves of the same fossil. Um, and then you, if you've opened the rock, are the very first person to have ever seen this 500 million year old trilobite fossil, which is quite a fantastic feeling if you get the chance. Um, we just ask that you, you know, you touch the fossils, you take pictures, you show your friends, but you lay them back where you found them um, before you go. And there's lots, if you don't find any, sometimes, you know, you're digging, you don't find any, you can come back to the center and see a couple of really great specimens on display in our exhibit space as well. Some kids, uh, you know, who we dig with say, well, how come I didn't find one yet? But the whole point really is that you might not find one every time. And that's kind of what makes it special. So it is a treasure hunt really, when you're looking for fossils. So if you're interested in booking a tour with us, you're more than welcome to come and look online at our website, manualsriver.ca, check out our events calendar to see about availability. Um, or you can call us directly at the Interpretation Center at 834-2099, or even uh, feel free to email us at info at manualsriver.ca. And you know, just with about 24 hours notice, we should be able to book you in um, for a tour of your choosing. We'll also have uh, tons of family fun happening this summer. Uh, we do host free campfires for the community every Thursday evening with a sing song and we'll provide the marshmallows for roasting. Um, so all you have to do is just show up and, and bring your singing voices. If you happen to be talented and you have an instrument, you wanna bring it, you'd be more than welcome. Um, we love to welcome you know any, anyone with a guitar or an accordion or, or whatever you have there, a pair of spoons. Um, and we also have built, uh, because of COVID last year, a giant outdoor movie screen. So if you want to bring along your camp chair, your blanket, that's just $5 a person on Thursday evenings, we'll be doing a different movie each week, uh, weather permitting. So just check out our website and our social media um, for what movies are playing when, and that will begin on July 8th. So we love to see everybody come out it's for all ages, and we'll have a, a time, get to meet some friends and and enjoy the weather, hopefully. And one of the other things you might wanna do if you are out and about is in addition to our indoor cafe, uh, Frida's Riverside Cafe, our local chef, uh, Mike Wozni and his wife, Cynthia, and their family who operate the restaurant also have uh, a wonderful taco truck called Poco Loco. And they are also responsible for doing our um, Manuel's River Catering for all our indoor events like weddings and things. So their food is fantastic. It's fresh, it's healthy, it's affordable, and it is delicious. That's the main thing. And, you know, you can grab a taco from the truck, burrito, nachos, whatever you like, if you like Mexican food. And there's all different options um, for private events for customizing um, what kind of a menu you like. It's not just Mexican. Mike can pretty much do anything. And as well, um, you can book your, your tour outdoors 
uh, to the fossil site and add on your meal as a package. So we have a fossils and food that will run um, you know, whenever we're open, Wednesday to Sunday. And then we also have uh, fossil food and fire available Thursday nights if you want to add the campfire onto your fossil hike and your meal so that you can kind of make a day of it or an evening of it. So there's lots and, and lots of really yummy options there. And uh, we also have a brand new picnic area that's generously been donated by several different businesses and community groups. So that's just outside the center in the front. So it's worth checking out and bringing a snack and, and having a little uh, outdoor lunch or snack. Um, some of the other events that you might look for uh, as well is we just had a, a dig with dad on Father's Day. We will have a Newfoundland Museums Day in July. We'll be partnering with uh, the community libraries, public libraries, to do some story time, bird watching events. Um, we'll also have an international geocaching day in August. It's another great activity if you want to take it out on the trails. And of course, um, you can check our website and our social media for more offerings. We're hoping to have a teen program that's in the works right now. So that'll be mainly an outdoor um, program that's uh, focused on activities and, and getting everybody moving and enjoying the fresh air and enjoying the nature that's available to us. So feel free to have a look there. And if you would like to support us, um, support the use of the trails for everyone for free and support you know, some of the educational programs that we do in and around um, conservation and getting to know the world around you, please feel free to buy one of our Bobber tickets. We do have an annual Bobber race that we've been doing now for over 30 years in the community. And that would normally be a race where we have physical bobbers that we number and we release upstream and they float downstream. And the first one to the finish would be the winner. However, last year, because of COVID, uh, we had to make a little switch with uh, some of the in-person events that we would do and the kids carnival that we would have. So we moved to an online uh, lottery. And the race concept is that you have to race to get your tickets because there's only going to be 20,000 sold within the province. It's a 50-50 draw. Um, the more tickets you buy, the cheaper they are per ticket. So you can bundle your tickets. Last year's jackpot was $146,710. So our big winner went home with close to $75,000. And we did have an early bird prize of $5,000 as well. Um, we will have an early bird prize this year. Uh, which is $5,000 cash or uh, a greenhouse, just like our greenhouse that's outside made from Sun Valley greenhouses, uh, which is valued at $7,000. And then you might get the early bird and you might even get the big cash prize at the end. We've started our lottery earlier this year. It's going to be open for longer. It's already growing. So I imagine the jackpot could be even higher this year. And the draw will be on September 15th. So don't miss that. Feel free to go to our website, manualsriver.ca or uh, bobberrace5050.com to purchase your tickets if you're interested in supporting our charity. And we really appreciate it. And thank you so much to everybody um, for including us and, and letting us be part of your offerings here. We hope to see. Well, Nora, that's wonderful. Great, uh, great source of information there from Manuel's River. Um, very, very quickly now, we will uh, just get into the, the last little bit of our presentation today, uh, just to talk to you quickly about some key outdoor activities and locations. Uh, we, also, we always want to highlight our Topsail Beach Rotary Park. Uh, at Topsail Beach Rotary Park, you can find the trailhead for Longshore Path. Uh, there's a playground there for the kids as well. We have fires, uh, fire pits there that are provided. Fires are permitted at Topsail Beach. We please ask that you are responsible when you light a bonfire at Topsail Beach and to please use the pits provided. Uh, Topsail Beach is a ideal location for photos of our CBS sunsets. And of course, if you take a photo there, we want you to use our hashtag. Uh, please do so. Uh, Sergeant Thomas Ricketts Peace Park is a heritage uh, installation here at the town of CBS. Uh, it's, it's managed and maintained by the Kiwanis Club of Conception Bay South. Uh, what they did with Peace Park is they wanted a, a permanent memorial uh, that celebrates the life of Sergeant Thomas Ricketts. Uh, Sergeant Ricketts was the youngest ever recipient of the, uh, the Victoria Cross for valor in battle. He was a young man, he was only 16 or 17 when he went off to fight in, in the First World War, I believe it was. Uh, it's an excellent place to sit in, take some time to learn, reflect. It's a lovely little garden there. Uh, 
Uh, and you can most certainly combine your visit to Peace Park uh, with a walk on the Gateway Trail, which starts at the Kiwanis Club there in Conception Bay South. So this is another key outdoor location that we have here in Conception Bay South that we want to highlight. Uh, and one last time, can't, can't go another session here at the town of Conception Bay South uh, without promoting our trail systems. We have seven excellent trail systems here to explore. Uh, as you can see on, on the, the left-hand side, as you see in our pictures there, we have a couple of the photos from Manual River Trails. We are uh, the kilometer zero of the East Coast Trail, starting with the long trail path. Um, as you can see here, you can bike the trails. Uh, rentals are available at New Fountain and Suites, located in Calgary's there. Uh, and of course, Rick also mentioned that they were getting into the mountain biking uh, situation at Ocean Quest Adventure. So another awesome place you could uh, find a bike and go for it. All along our trails, you'll find our photo hotspots. If you uh, reference our tourism maps, you'll be able to see uh, where those photo hotspots are, are lined out to all along different trails. Uh, as uh, Eleanor also mentioned, a similar situation with our trailway and all of our trail systems here in the town. Uh, the non-motorized pets must be leashed. And we ask that you please clean up pet waste and any other garbage that you have. Please use the receptacles that are provided. Uh, with regards to our trails, we have trail video playlist on our YouTube channel. So like, this is why it's very important for you to, uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, not just council meetings on there, lots of cool stuff going on there with our trail videos that uh, Brandon has been working on uh, over the last year or so. And we've got a couple new ones coming out in the next month or so that we've started to work on. Uh, also, we also want you to check out our maps. We do uh, a full on trail guide in our street map, and we also do a uh, sort of a mini uh, trail guide on, on the back of our tourism. Of course, with regards to the tourism sector in here in Conception Bay South, we want you to interact with us on our social media. You can check out our trail video playlist uh, on YouTube. Just search the town of Conception Bay South and check out our playlist tab. We have all our, our trail videos all in the one playlist. Interact with us online. We want you to use our hashtags in, in the photo post. So hashtag CBS trails, hashtag explore CBS and hashtag CBS sunsets. And of course, tag us in your posts on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Town of Conception Bay South, and on Twitter, a little bit of a shorter handle. We are at Town of CBS. Please contact us if you have any questions about the information you're seeing today or in any of the previous Spotlight series, or if you have just general questions about activities in Conception Bay South or tourism in Conception Bay South, opportunities for business development. Uh, my number is there, or my extension is 70703. And of course, we've also got Brandon there as well, Brandon's uh, point into uh, some of the items that we have on the go here with our with our tourism. Uh, email us ecdev at conceptionbaysouth.ca. And on the very last, just want to say a big thank you. Here's one of our CBS sunsets taken from Topsail Bluff, the top of one of our newest trails here in Conception Bay South. And just having a quick look at the chat. I don't see any questions here from the panelists. We had a way to go everyone and great job. Great presentations all. Thank you, Ella, and thank you, Rick. Thank you to our contributors today, Eleanor, Darcy, Rick, Brandon. We need people like you to be ambassadors for our tourism sector, and we're really happy that you guys were able to share some information with our groups today. That's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much, and we want you to explore CBS as much as you can. Come check us out. Take care. Thank you. Bye.